Hi again, Attorney Steve Vonder, and welcome to another exciting episode of Copyright Watchdog. Okay, so we are talking in this video about Malibu Media cases. Okay, so Malibu Media, most people know, are prolific copyright infringement filers. Okay, so they protect their adult pornography movies. And so if you illegally download these or share these on your BitTorrent files and your BitTorrent protocol, your software, your clients that are, allow you to, to share movies, um, we have some clients that say, you know, I've built up a movie, uh, a library of a hundred movies. And so, you know, I've got all these movies and I got this letter, a notice from my ISP that I'm basically being named in a lawsuit, in a, in a Malibu Media lawsuit and named as a John Doe defendant. So, you know, when that happens, I mean, you know, it's a little, things get a little bit crazy. Uh, that's when people call our office and we go over, you know, kind of our services. But I want to go over in this video about a case where Malibu Media lost. Okay, so there was a defendant, a Doe defendant, that decided to take them on and say, you know what, I did not download these movies. I am not going to pay your demand. I think in this case it was $18,000. And this is a case out of the Northern District in Illinois, in Chicago. And I'm gonna give you the case number. If you're a defendant, this is something you may wanna look up. If you're an attorney fighting Malibu Media, this is a case you may wanna look up. Number one, colon 13-CV-06312. This was a, a masterful case by the attorney, the defense attorney in this case. And it dealt with basically, um, a motion for summary judgment where the defendant took them on. They fought the battle. Uh, Malibu Media, I think in the case they were looking for, I think it was $18,000 for 24 films that were downloaded. Okay, so that was about $750 a film. Well, the defendant said, nope, nope, nope. I am not going to pay that. I did not download it. I didn't do it. It must have been somebody else and you cannot prove it. So the case went on and it proceeded as most cases do. There was a complaint filed. The complaint generally is going to name copyright infringement as the cause of action. Um, there was a motion for early discovery. Um, they, the parties agreed to a magistrate judge, and I do have a video out on should, should you consent to the magistrate judge. Um, in this case, uh, Judge Brown, Geraldine Brown was the judge. And again, there was early discovery. The subpoena brought back the identity of the defendant and the defendant's name was, was um, nicely kept anonymous. So that did not come out in the case, which was nice. So the parties went, they fought the case, they went to mediation, they couldn't get the case, I think it was mediation, couldn't get the case settled, um, expert discovery under, undertook. Uh, Malibu Media is a company that had a German investigator, forensic investigator that said, you know, the defendant downloaded these packets and the packets basically, once you get all these packets together that makes up the movie. Well, the judge didn't buy it. This was a motion for summary judgment. It was actually a cross motion for summary judgment. That means the plaintiff was seeking summary judgment on its claim to get that stamp of the winning stamp and the defendant was also seeking the summary judgment motion. So the court heard all the evidence and ruled that there was not sufficient evidence to show that, that the defendant had downloaded copyrighted content, copyrighted packets that were identifiable as a Malibu media movie. I think it's under their XArt series. And um, the court just said it's not enough. And so um, this was a big win. That's a big win for defendants. So it does show you that you can win these cases if you fight them. It, you know, again, could cost you money to fight. You know, you can always seek a, a prayer for attorney fees to the court if you're successful. And so there's not, it doesn't mean that Malibu Media is gonna stop filing these lawsuits. One of the stats I read says um, they're responsible for over 30% of the copyright infringement cases that are filed in the United States. That's a staggering figure. So, so Malibu Media, they can be fought. You can win. If you didn't download that movie, you don't always have to, to um, you know, pay up. Some people feel like their arms are twisted. But at any rate, that's just one case for you to look. That's out of Illinois. Um, if you are facing a BitTorrent case, if you got an ISP notice from your subpoena, excuse me, back that up. If you got a subpoena notice from your ISP, I say this too many times. If you received a subpoena notice from your ISP, you wanna know what your rights are. You wanna know what your potential defenses are. The um, uh, defendant in this case did file an answer. They did raise some defenses, unclean hands, um, you know, failure to register the business, 
um, some other things. But um, if you want to know, if you want to discuss your cases, we'll give you the pros and cons. We offer low flat rate fees. And we've helped a lot of people around the United States in these federal copyright infringement cases. So if you need some help, find us on the web. You can go to our BitTorrent Defense Resource Center. That's, we've got lots of information, articles, videos, links, you name it. We've got a lot of resources for you. You can find that at torrentdefenders.com. That's torrentdefenders.com or find me at attorneysteve.com. That's where a lot of people like to go. So that's about it for this video. Attorney Steve Honor and Copyright Watchdog. We'll see you again. Have a great night. And this is general legal information only, not legal advice or a substitute for legal advice. Our firm is licensed to practice law in California and Arizona. We take federal trademark and copyright cases nationwide. All right, that's it. I'm out. See you later.